Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with Pacific Yacht Systems and we're doing another installment of Ask PYS. So we've got a question from a fellow boater, Ron. Ron asks, what battery should be used for thrusters? A cranking battery or a deep cycle battery? And how charging should be set up? The research I've done leans towards a deep cycle battery, but it's interesting the different opinions and reasoning. Thanks, Ron. Okay, first, first things first, it's a boat there's gonna be conflicting opinions. And Ron's right, you gotta do your research. Everybody has an opinion and you gotta, it's not so much the opinion that's important, it's the reasoning behind it, right? And it's always a question of trade-offs. So when we do thrusters, we generally, in most applications, are gonna recommend a cranking battery. My reasoning is as follows. A thruster is a load that is of short duration, right? It's gonna be 10 seconds, five seconds, two seconds, 30 seconds if you're really going bazonkers. And that load is gonna be a crazy amount of amperage, right? Could be 200, 300, 400 amps, even higher. And that's gonna be really hard on a deep cycle battery because remember, a deep cycle battery is a marathon runner. It's a battery that discharges over a very long period of time. Yet a cranking battery is sort of like a sprinter. A sprinter runs for a short period of time, but it has the ability to have explosive power. So your thruster is really similar to a starter. It's a very high load for a short period of time. So we always recommend a cranking battery, if you're gonna go with flooded, uh, with for thrusters or even a windlass, because they just made for that purpose. And we would not recommend a deep cycle battery on a thruster. The other reason too is that you're gonna notice that the voltage on a deep cycle battery under really, really high loads is gonna drop down faster than a cranking battery. So a cranking battery is actually gonna be better for the thruster too. How do you recharge them? I've seen many instances where uh, thruster batteries are only recharged from a shore power or a generator via a battery charger, which is okay, but not great, because that means that while you're underway or you're using your engines, the battery's not getting a charge. So if you leave the dock, you use your thrusters a lot, by the time you get to your other destination, the batteries have not been charged, and now you're using your batteries for your thruster, and they're already weak, and we know what a weak battery does on an electric motor. It causes electric motors to fail because you've got a lower voltage. So I'm a big proponent of having the alternators or alternator also recharge the thruster battery while you're underway, while the engines are running. It's a way to make sure that when you get to your destination and the dock, the batteries are completely full. So that was a great question by Ron. Thanks for watching this video. If you've got further questions that we didn't answer, please ask them below or go on our website and fill out one of the forms and we'll get a chance to do so. Support us to keep this channel ad free by donating via PayPal or buying one of these lovely hats. The links are below. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so that way you'll get the regular content. And in closing, thanks for watching.